Doesn't this look like a wonderfully promising park? Nice grounds, established in 1825. I thought it'd be great, but I think it's been picked over because the only thing I am digging here is can slaw and uh, an old gas cap and uh, more can slaw. And oh yeah, my first hypodermic needle. So I haven't really had a ton of luck or fun here. I found one single copper penny and that's it. That's the total of my uh, keepers from this park in a half hour. I know a half hour is not a long time, but I'm frustrated here and pretty bored to be honest. So I'm going somewhere else. I don't know where the hell I'm going. I stuck around that park for a little bit longer. I found a top lot, picked up some plaid. And everywhere I was gonna go is like paved over. I did some research and you know, on Google Earth, it didn't look quite as paved over as it really is. So it's uh, kind of in a crap shoot. Now I'm just kind of driving, hoping I'll see an old house. I go knock on some doors maybe, I don't know. All I know is uh, today is going from nice to kind of frustrating. So we'll see what happens. So driving along, check out the place I got permission to hunt. Looks pretty prime, doesn't it? They say it used to be an old stagecoach stop. I've been poking around for, I don't know, 20 minutes now. Um, I'm using my little baby coil because there's a lot of iron here. It's a little six inch. I just got that one uh, a couple days ago. And I finally got my first oh, wheat penny. It's a uh, 45. Hopefully the first of many old coins out here. But I'm telling you, this place is a uh, Looks like a dream to me. Coins, coins, wherefore art thou coins? I found that one wheat penny more than an hour ago, but I just got a neat signal. Rang up like a nickel. It's a old button. You can see the shank still there, and it's really got a lot of design on it. I can't wait to get it home and clean it up. It looks really cool. Um, so, still looking for silver. So this is how my day must end. Rained out. That really sucks. All I got for keepers was a button, which was really cool. I really like that button. And a wheat penny. Hopefully I'll find something better tomorrow. Make this a worthwhile video to post. Thanks for watching. Alright, I'm not going home. I refuse to accept that I can't find a silver coin today. Or something more than at least one wheat penny. So, I'm going ahead and trying one more new spot. I tried three new spots today. They've all kind of sucked. Except for that button. Like I said, I like that button. But, one last new spot. See how I do. Well guys, today has been the roughest hunting day ever for me. I went to that other spot I was talking about going to and it was raining out before. Uh, it was so overgrown. I, just, uh, I should have taken some film of it, but I didn't. Then I went and started knocking on doors. Um, I got four no's in a row, more than I've ever gotten before. Finally, I stopped at this house with this nice foundation. Um, he warned me it had been done before, but he said, go ahead, knock yourself out. Well, right here in the front yard, not more than two inches deep, I had my first ever Indian hit penny. So I'm pretty psyched about that. I pray that it is in the 1800s. I don't want to uh, wipe it and damage it in case it's a key date or I shouldn't do that anyway but I usually do because I'm impatient but yeah my first ever Indian head rang up just like a zinc penny 1337 so I'm pretty psyched uh, clean it up later and let you know what it is like I said hopefully it's in the 1800s because I have not been in the 1800s yet all right guys hang on let me pan to the left here I want it to be a surprise what the date on the Indian head was okay so, mm. <laughs> so total for clad was 7:30. Most I got in that tile lot first thing in the morning, and then the Indian head penny, which is 1892. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Finally broke into the 1800s. It is absolutely gorgeous too. There she is, 1892. My first Indian head penny, my first coin in the 1800s, and it is freaking gorgeous. Full liberty on this puppy. She is sharp. Her he gets to he. I'm gonna call it a she though, she's sharp. And here's that button I found, which I absolutely love. 
any idea how old it is? It had the round shank on the back. When I washed it off, it I guess it was rusted off, it washed away down the drain, never to be seen again. But it looks old. I don't know. If anyone has any idea, I'd love an age to this. I mean, the house was original. I mean, to the township. I mean, it's got to be early to mid 1700s. So, it's anyone's guess as to how old that house is. I also pulled three wheat pennies, 52, 45, and 45. I got a little nine millimeter shell casing, and. Uh, yeah, so today's the day of first. My first really cool button. I've gotten buttons before, but not one like that. My first Indian head penny. First coin in the 1800s. And my f not pictured as my first hypodermic needle. That went in the trash as soon as I found it. Really still has me kind of skeeved out. I'm not too fond of uh, needles in the first place, let alone a dirty used one that someone else is a... Uh... Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, glad this hunt kind of turned around that. Penny saved the day, although I do love the button. I don't like to undersell the button. I feel bad when I say that I wouldn't have been happy otherwise, but I'm, I'm more of a coin guy than a relic guy. So, anyway, thanks for watching.